Welcome, Scorpio and Cross Rogers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please keep in mind, time is fluid. This could represent a past, present, or a future situation for you. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, be sure to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. Timestamps always in the description box if you want to skip. I have the letter R in my head. I have Rebecca. Robert, I want to say Reagan, mm, kind of unusual one. We have opportunity here. Rachel, I'm just getting like a lot of R names come to me. Opportunity. We have guide, new direction, third party. Too many cards, please be specific. Spirit. There we go. All right, they're like, this is it. Under here, we do have divine masculine, so someone could be running from this connection or uh, avoid it, maybe um, needing to open up with their feelings or their emotions. We do have guide, new direction, third party. Okay, we have crossroads, we have regret, we have victim, we have bound, we have fifth dimension, we have reinvention, and we have communication. So somebody is coming back around. There's an opportunity here for somebody who may have ran from this connection in the past. And again, time energy is fluid. This could be past. This could be present. This could be a situation in the future for some of you, okay? Um, <clears throat> please take what resonates. Leave what does not. Never force something to fit. If it's not your message, it is just not your message. Guide. Someone being guided in a new direction. There was some kind of choice that somebody had to make a decision, okay? Somebody here regrets the decision they made okay and now they feel trapped and bound in this situation they ran from this connection okay but they still have a flame for you okay devotion they still feel connected to you they're being guided to come breath around they chose the wrong path okay this person again third party is not always a physical person a third party is an energy that someone is, is focusing on instead of giving the their energy to you they're, you know, they're dealing with addiction, you know, ego, depression, sometimes family, work, distance, you know, toxic friends, karmic partners sometimes, okay? It could be a lot of things, but somebody came to a point that they had to make a decision between you and something else, and they did not choose you in the past, and now, okay, they want to come back around. They're being guided. They're, like, they're reliving this is what I want to say. They are reliving some events from the past and they're in deep regret, okay? They can't seem to get this out of their mind. They're, they're constantly thinking about this path they could have, should have, would have taken if they could just go back in time. They have a lot of regret about the past, okay? Now they feel like they are in a situation that they cannot break free from. This is like devil energy bound here, kind of Capricorn energy here. But with this victim this person's in this they feel trapped they feel bound they feel stuck they feel like they can't break free there could be with someone possibly for some of them who is very controlling very manipulative you know very toxic they may be trying to reach you in the fifth dimension at soul level they may be trying to reach out to you in dreams okay they could be you know you could be having a telepathic conversation with this person they're saying they're going to come back around and reinvent themselves they're going to make some serious changes here they're going to want to reach out and communicate to you there's an opportunity coming around from somebody who wasn't expecting to reach out okay or you were not expecting to hear from this person but here they come scorpio i thought like this is going to be a very intense reading okay We're looking at this more from this person's perspective, but it can be flipped or reversed, as this is general. I typically like to focus on the other person because you know how you feel. What you need to know, what you need to understand is this person's actions. Why may they have, you know, what may have triggered or resulted in them, you know, doing something specific or what are they thinking, what are they feeling, you know, how do they justify it from their perspective, okay? Cards coming out here. We do have... The knave of swords, so they're spying on you. And they're kind of afraid, I want to say they're kind of afraid that you may not be willing to hear them out. They're kind of afraid that you may not be willing, you may not want to revisit this with them. Aries energy, uh, air energy here as well, Gemini Libra Aquarius. 
this person's watching you, okay? And they're afraid that you've moved on. They're afraid that maybe you wouldn't hear them out. Um, like if they did come back around, they hurt you too much in the past, okay? We have the devil Capricorn energy. This person may have chose something very toxic, okay? This could have been addiction, okay? Could have been their ego. Uh, they chose wrong. They're almost tormented in a sense. There's a lot of fear here, okay, with this full card. Like they're kind of hiding their head. They're kind of cowarding like down. It's like, I know that I messed up. I know that I was a fool. I know that I... I should have I should have did this. I should have said this. I should have chose right. I don't know what I was thinking. They're ashamed of themselves. Oh my. Oh boy. We have the name of child. So they're coming to apologize, right? Water energy here. This person's coming back to apologize. We did the six of pentacles. Things were not balanced. They kind of maybe they, you know, put you on the back burner. They kept their their time, their energy, their devotion divided between you and something else. But a choice had to be made. They come. To, they came to this point in the situation where they had to make a choice. They deeply regret that. And that's what you need to know. Regardless of if you're willing to hear them out, if you're willing to give them a secondary chance, one thing they do want you to strongly know is how much they regret what they did or what they chose over this. And they want to make things fair. I see them like graveling at your feet. I'm so sorry. I'm still in love with you. I still think about you. I know that I messed up. You know, give me this opportunity. Give me this chance. We have the Four of Chalices. They, they, they're disappointed with themselves. Four of Chalices, like, you know, I made a bad decision. Or, like, this is, you know, I'm disappointed with what I have. I'm, I'm not really satisfied. I'm not really happy. You know, I, I regret this. I'm thinking about the past, this decision that I made. And the Queen of Cups. You may have been someone for them. This is water energy. This is your energy. Male or female. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is your energy. You are someone, whether they were toxic, they, you know, they were dividing their time not equally with you. They didn't treat you right in the past. Whatever they did, they did under, I want to say they undervalued you. Okay. I'm not, I'm never going to justify anyone's negative actions, behaviors. Mm -mm, no, but we do need to understand it from their point of view. Okay. And we're going to look at that. They didn't know what they had, so they lost it. It's sad when that happens, isn't it? It's like you should have saw it before, you know. A couple cards coming, cards that want to come out. All right, so <clears throat> Four of Swords, they can't stop thinking about this. You were somebody who was loving and giving and nurturing and kind, compassionate, even when they didn't treat you right or they didn't give you what you deserved. You know, there was nothing but love and pure intentions in your heart, and they messed up. They made a huge mistake. They realize that now, okay, they may have been deceived in some way. That's not justifying anything, but that's what you may need to know here. They may have been deceived by someone, all right? They may they may have even deceived themselves, okay? Now you're a little bit guarded. They know that you're guarded, Seven of Wands. A little bit defensive here because you do feel this connection. You may have had kids with them or you were hoping for a family for a future with them. You, do, you may still deeply love them and care about them. Um, you do feel the soulmate connection, Gemini energy here. This person, they know you're guarded. Some of you may have actually moved on. Okay, I do want to, this is, this could be for just a handful of you. Some of you may have actually moved on, may have, you know, gotten married, gotten into a relationship, had kids, started your own business, doing your own thing, focusing on you, plenty of opportunities, you know, for happiness and abundance kind of coming to you. You may not have anticipated this person to come back, okay? And again, regardless of if you want it or not, I'm just the messenger, okay? I'm just here to tell you what I see. You know, you don't have to accept or hear this person out. Your free will to do what you want to do. I'm here just to bring you the news. This person still thinks about you. They still love you. They're fearful of what their rejection here, but they are reaching out. They're reaching out because they still want. They're telling they want a future with you. They know that you're guarded, but they want to apologize. They want to make things right now. They made a choice. It was a bad decision. Now they feel bound to something toxic, something unhealthy. Under the deck, here's the two of wands. So thinking about the future, future planning, predicting. This is like the energy, like picking flowers, you know. He loves me, he loves me not. He loves me, he loves me not. You know, this is consulting the magic eight ball, you know. Ask again later, cannot predict now, right. This person's getting frustrated. They could be watching tarot readings, okay. They could be seeking out psychics, okay. They are looking for answers. They want you to choose them. They know that they don't have a right to ask that of you, but they want to. <clears throat> 
Ow. This person was in their pride. They were in their ego. They made a bad decision. They were blind before. They see now. They're being guided to come back around towards you. I'm also seeing a sand glass. Um, an hourglass being flipped over. They feel like time is running out. They have to speak now. I'm hearing speak now or forever hold your peace. So some of you, like I said, they may feel like they're going to lose you, like you're going to move on, or they may see you moving on, okay? And they realize that their time is running out. They're going to have to make a decision. Some of them, I also want to say, may be getting married. They may not be, this is just for some of them, not for all of them. Some of them may be getting married, um, and they are afraid to go through with it because they're already regretting the decision that they made. They're already regretting it. Wow, okay. And you're feeling, I'm feeling very uneasy. I think you're feeling very uneasy. You don't know if you trust them, okay? Can you believe what they say? If you love them, maybe you still really deeply care about them. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. This is going to happen unexpectedly, okay? This person told that they made a bad decision. They regret this. They, they want to make things right now. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations. Help bring you, they're visualizing the two of you together. They're trying to reach you, okay? They could be, you could be dreaming about this person, sensing this person, almost hearing this person telepathically. They could be trying to communicate with you. Uh, they're trying to call you and manifest this back because they want forgiveness. Like what we talk about, they regret it. They want to ask for forgiveness. As you release and heal from the past, you experience more love in your present moment. They're trying to release the past, heal from it, and rebuild this with you. And it's going to be completely up to you what you want to do with this. This is a very intense reading. It does feel very specific. If this was not your message, please don't take it to heart. Someone needed to hear this this week. I would advise you to check your moon rising and your Venus sign, specifically when it comes to love. If you have a strong stellium, meaning uh, more than three planets in the same sign, um, those messages could also be very relevant for you or check back next week. There are plenty of other fantastic readers here on YouTube if it does not resonate for you, but this was somebody's very important message that needed to come through. And I'm almost in tears. Um, I'm just feeling really emotional. It's very heavy. Um, like this part, like the amount of grief that this person feels. Okay. And I just feel, uh, anxious and, um, nervous it's like this person knows there's a lot riding on this apology because it may be too late like they have to try again they want this opportunity they want to make things right it's completely up to you what you want to do with this <sighs> all right so this was your reading please remember to like comment and subscribe thank you all so much for your support thank you to those of you who have donated i am truly blessed and so very grateful i am wishing you all strength and many blessings Bye-bye.